Hey everybody, welcome back to the Token Pants channel. I'm Chris, aka Token Hero. Got another movie review for you today. Tonight I saw The Hitman's Bodyguard. And I... uh, big shout out real quick to Big Country Rory Nelson, who invited me to the screening uh, so we could see it way ahead of time. Uh, he's an awesome dude. Check out his links right here. Really, really awesome dude, uh, great MMA fighter. Uh, so let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, how it works here is we give you a brief summary of the movie. Was it good, was it not? Should you waste your money on it? Should you see it in the theater? Is it worth seeing in the theater? Uh, after that, I'll announce spoilers and kind of dive into the movie a little bit. Um, pacing, you know, editing, all that kind of stuff, uh, and really kind of get into the nooks and crannies of it. Uh, with that being said, let's just jump into it. So, was it good, was it not? Did you see it? I think yes. I had a lot of fun in the movie. Um, the dynamic between Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds is really good. It's really fun. Uh, I would definitely say you should go check it out right when it's in the theater. I definitely want to see a sequel to this movie uh, and have their relationship expanded. Uh, I think it was really fun and really awesome. Um, so with that being said, we'll get into spoilers. Uh, so spoiler warning. Tick tock, motherfucker. Uh, so overall, the movie was good, but there definitely had problems. Uh, one thing was the film quality. Every now and then, they would shoot to a shot that seemed blurry, and not like regular blurry, like something was out of focus, but like smeared blurry. If that makes any sense, everything had this like kind of smear quality sometimes, and I didn't understand that. Uh, another thing that I say they would have, uh, they should have done is more Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Every now and then they would go to other characters and stuff where you really didn't need more focus on them. It should have been more Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. Also, I don't think they gave Ryan Reynolds enough jokes. Um, Samuel L. Jackson was pretty much funny like the whole way through. And I felt like they didn't under know whether they wanted to make Ryan Reynolds the straight guy or if they wanted to make him a funny guy. So he has a lot of passive-aggressive Ryan Reynolds-style um, lines that, are, that end up being funny, but overall, not the funny guy. Um, and even, even then, some of his jokes were like hit and miss. I felt like in that situation, they definitely should have just let Ryan Reynolds be Ryan Reynolds and Samuel Jackson be Samuel Jackson and then kind of just sit back and let it happen. Uh, and you can definitely see there, there were scenes in the movie where that happened, where they just sat back and let them be them. And those were the magic moments of the movie where like the dialogue was just popping and like the chemistry was just like ex exploding. Other than that, again, we'll go back to these scenes where it was like, ah, uh, not that great. Uh, which is why I said in the, in the quickie uh, synopsis of the movie, I definitely want to see a sequel because it was really, really fun and like the way they were acting towards each other was really, really great. Um, uh, other uh, issues with the movie was, uh, I guess, pacing and, and music was an issue. Um, a lot of the song choices were like those songs that you've heard in a hundred other movies. Um, I, I, I feel like the songs could have been better chosen uh, for the sequence they were in, sequences they were used in. Um, I just understand when movies use songs from other movies. It, it's like, why do that? It, it's just get another song and use that one. Um, all the chase sequences in the movie. The chase sequences in the movie, I felt ran too long. Uh, they dragged. Like, this isn't Baby Driver. This isn't, you know, Fast and the Furious. Like, I, I again, back to more Ryan and, and Sam. The action sequences and the fighting and the gunplay were really, really well done. But every time I went to a chase sequence, it went on for way too long. I felt like they were trying to fill the movie uh, with longer chase sequences to, to round out the time. I, just definitely, I definitely don't think it, it was needed. Because, uh, again, the, the, the best parts of the movie, the fun parts of the movie, is when Samuel Jackson and Ryan Reynolds are fighting... Uh, with each other or fighting with other people, but it's in that ground combat, you know, down and, and dirty. Uh, other than that, like, it was a really good movie. I would say go, go see it. It was really funny. 
I will say that a lot of the funny parts, I will say probably 70% of the funny parts are in the trailers. Um, but that being said, seeing them in context to the film and where they are in the story still makes it funny. And I still laughed even seeing the trailer. Uh, so yeah, that was my quick review of Hitman's Bodyguard. Uh, please go check it out. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Click that little bell for notifications. Um, and if you have any ideas or, or suggestions of what you would like to see us do next, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, as always guys, thanks for watching. Also real quick, I was just shutting this off about to edit the video, but then I remembered I didn't even mention Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek is in this movie, she's fantastic, and it's, some, in a, it's her in a role that you've never seen her before. She's real wild, she's real out there, but she was amazing in the movie. Gary Oldman was also in this movie. Gary Oldman, I would say, was a missed opportunity. Um, he's a fantastic actor, I think he was sorely underused, and the way he was used in the movie, I thought was just a waste. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching.